Welcome to the seventh video in the LaTeX Tutorials, a comprehensive series. In this video, we will talk about the list and table of contents, which is section 2.4 in our book. The table of contents we have already discussed, which is over here in the LaTeX new page and table of contents. Similarly, if we want to include list of tables and list of figures, then we can include them on separate pages. For example, after the table of contents, we can write slash new page. A new page is here. enter and slash list as you write list of less and then list of figures and list of tables appears so the first one let's say list of figures and enter slash new page again this will go to the new page because list of figure and list of tables should start from a new page and slash tables okay so list of figures and list of tables and i just build this and you can see we have list of figures and list of tables when we will have table or figure used in our chapters then they will be automatically reflected over here so one care to be taken and that is whenever we write the list of figures or list of tables or table of contents then they should be on a new page okay so with this we are now entering into the last section of this chapter which is page numbering we know the atlantic is giving page numbering by default so we don't need to do this thing but sometime is a custom for the table of contents and some other certificates etc or approval pages we need to have the numerals is roman numerals means the numbering is roman and then arabic numeral should start so to do this thing let's say we are uh, starting with the table of contents and the number of pages should be uh, Roman according to the format so we can do the change at any point we see here that the first pages if I want to start with the Roman numbering then I will write page numbering Roman and then table of contents and then new page and page numbering arabic let's say i am doing this new page and i write here slash page numbering so it appears there and i write here and numbering style is let's say roman and then after the table of contents after the new page i write or let's say for the list of figures and list of tables also the numbering is like this and after this i write new page and then i write slash page numbering and i write arabic now as i build this document we will see that for the table of contents we have the page numbering is roman over here again and list of figures roman this will continue we see this will continue till the abstract and from the abstract one and two and three will start 
So this is the way to force at any stage what kind of numbering is required. So we can have means the numbering the page numbering Roman is starting from here. It will cover a table of contents, list of figures and list of tables and then after the Arabic numerals will start. So this is the way to change the page numbering. Okay, so we are done with this and in the next video we will start with the text formatting which is actually chapter 3 in our book thank you for watching the video and get tuned for the next video thank you